Amigos de Lucha Libre Online, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Jorge Cervera y vean nada más con el luchador que me encuentro en esta ocasión. Un luchador que ha recorrido todo Estados Unidos, ha estado en Puerto Rico, ha estado en NWA, se ha enfrentado a luchadores que han estado en las mejores empresas y también con luchadores mexicanos y de todo el mundo. En esta ocasión me encuentro con nada más y nada menos que Brian Idol. Brian, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the introduction. Um, I hope this whole thing arrives. I'm over here in the country, so let's see if this works. Yeah, yeah, it's worse. I hear you so good. So, yeah, let's go to, to the questions. Actually, I want to talk about in a moment of your career because you have a great match versus Top Dollar for the, for the SCW Championship. Like this happened like three or five uh, years ago, something like that on time. So how do you feel that day? It was a great match and you beat Top Dollar. So I remember you posted that on YouTube. I saw the match like two years ago and it was a good match. So how do you feel to, to beat him and take the title? So so when I first wrestled uh, Top Dollar, he was an unknown guy. I don't think he'd had many matches. And, you know, it was such a surprise to me how good of a wrestler he really was. And uh, we had maybe four or five, I don't know how many matches, maybe six. We wrestled a lot of each other a lot of times since. And I'm going to tell you, that if I wrestled six matches with him, five of them are probably the best match that he's had right now today. Um, we've done it in multiple cities and multiple states. And uh, he's, he's tremendous. What I was saying, I don't think people realize how physically big. I mean, you see it when he's lifting people up on TV two at a time. But standing in person, especially now, he lost a little weight, so he looks kind of skinny. But he's not skinny. He's a big, big man. And uh, actually, I would say the actual physical strongest wrestler I've ever wrestled. And I've wrestled thousands of people and many, many legends. And he is physically the strongest. Yeah. Actually, what's that? how you say, was a great match. And you beat Top Dollar that day, so you won the SCW Championship that night. So it was awesome, man. So congratulations for, for that. You made that that night. So it was awesome, man. And well, I don't know if you know. I want to tell you. Wait, wait. I want to tell you that. Uh, it's the secret when you win the SCW title is that means you get to go inside the – that's for the Sausage Castle. It means you get to go inside the house And you get to party with all the beautiful girls all night. And so that's what makes that title so special. Because if you get to go in the house and you get to party with the girls, that's worth winning the title. It's worth You could lose an eye and it's okay. So it was, oh, it was a, great, okay. yeah, a great thing with that title. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, a double victory that night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very much. That's awesome. And actually, you make a lot of things on your career. And one of that was you met you meet, uh, Hulk Hogan one night actually on your instagram you have that photo with hulk hogan how yeah. do you feel to to be with that wrestler i mean it's one of the greatest of all time so how how you you imagine in a moment of your career and your life to be with one of the greatest names in the industry well i can tell you this that's actually not the first night i met hulk hogan um hulk hogan actually is my neighbor And so the, the oh first time I met him, I was going to the gym to work. Yeah. So the first time I met him, I was going to the gym to work out. And my key, when I opened the door at the gym, wasn't working. And so Hulk Hogan came and opened the door for me. And I couldn't see who was on the other side of the door until he opened it. So imagine this guy opens the door. And he's like, hey, brother. And it was Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and so oh my uh, God. that was the first. So that was the first time I met him, and uh, I actually used to work out with him probably, I don't know, two times a week. And, um, you know, so actually the, the picture you're talking about is uh, I had a legend friend from Japan, Tiger Chung Lee, who is, you know, was a main event of all Japan wrestling. Uh, you know, I think he did New Japan, you know, all those uh, 
all the big Japanese promotions. He did a little bit of AAA back back when. Actually came to Puerto Rico for WWC and I think even IWA. And uh, I think he did some stuff with Profe. And uh, so I brought Tiger Chung Lee uh, to Hulk Hogan's bar that night. And they hadn't seen each other in 25 years, he said. So imagine Hulk Hogan's face when I come walking up and I have Tiger Chung Lee Tiger Chung Lee and Hogan he looked at me you know Hogan looked at me and like say hi and they looked over and he saw Tiger Chung Lee and he was extremely happy and almost crying and uh, you know it was a great thing to reunite them so we had a big party that night and uh, also I'll tell you a secret that a lot of people don't know is that night uh, Hulk Hogan sent a video to New Japan Wrestling for me uh, because he wanted to tell them that I need to be in the main event. So Hulk Hogan called New Japan Wrestling and told them to book me in the main event. Otherwise, Hulk Hogan was going to be mad about it. Oh, my God. So yeah. that night and I have was that video, incredible. By the way. Yeah, so it was incredible yeah. that night. And actually, it's the first time I heard you say Hulk Hogan is your neighbor. So that's awesome. And the times you work out yeah. with him, talk with him, travel with him, I don't know. What you learn about that great man because he knows a lot of this business. So, what things you learn to him? Um, well, believe it or not, the thing I learned the most is obviously you have to be careful uh, <laughs> what you say and what you do. And, you know, there's been some ups and downs for him because of that. And it makes you realize that when you're doing this for a living on this high level like we do it, you have to be very careful how you present yourself because someone is always watching. And sometimes we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all say stupid things. But the trick is not to do it in front of the whole world <laughs> because when you do, it doesn't turn out good. And um, there's a responsibility in You know, with, with the kids, you know, when, when, when young children watch wrestling and whatever, you have to be someone that they can look up to because there's no such thing as being in pro wrestling and not being a role model. If you're in pro wrestling, you're a role model for children. So you have to carry yourself with respect and dignity and all the things that go with being a role model because if you don't, you're, you're failing pro wrestling and you're disgracing yourself. So, and I, I truly, I truly learned that from Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Yeah, that is true, Brian. That is, that is so true because you have to, to be a good person to know what are you saying, what are you saying. So, yeah, I think you, you learn a lot of Hulk Hogan. Brian, in a moment of your career, you have a match versus Blue Demon Jr. and Hijo de Dr. Wagner. So... Nope. I think Blue Demon is one of the biggest names in the Mexican culture and of Lucha Libre stuff. So how do you feel to be in that match with him and with the hijo of Dr. Wagner? Because there are two big wrestlers here in Mexico. I'm Mexican, so I think it's so important here in Mexico that wrestlers. And you have the opportunity to be in the same ring with that man. So how do you feel to be with that wrestlers that night? Okay, so this is another crazy story. So I was scheduled, actually, I was not scheduled to be, or no, actually, I, was, I can't remember. So I was scheduled to be on a show, and it was a Lucha show. And um, it was in Queens, New York. And um, I remember not wanting to go to the show because I had just. Uh, flown to New York, I got a phone call from my friend who is good friends with the musician Post Malone. So he calls me, my friend, and he says, hey, where are you right now? I said, New York City. He said, okay, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. Go on an airplane right now. I'll buy you a ticket to Miami. He said, Post Malone wants to go out with us tonight. And there's a, you know, he's doing like a club thing and he wants to take us out. So I'm like, oh, come on, man. So I'm like, I can't, I got to do this show. And he's like, are you serious? He's like, you don't want to hang with Post Malone? I was like, so 
and like I, I never met him before, but my friend is a good friend. Him. So, um, I don't go. Obviously, I go to the show, the Lucha show, and I don't know who I'm wrestling. And I just remember uh, going there, and nobody's telling me who I'm wrestling the whole time. I'm like, okay, who am I wrestling? What's going on? It was a little unorganized, and. I just remember at some point the promoter comes up to me and he doesn't even, I'm not even sure that he knows my name. I'm serious. I'm not even sure the guy knew my name. Came up to me, pointed at me, he said, you. I said, me? He said, yeah. He said, you and Blue Demon Jr. And I said, me and Blue Demon Jr.? And he said, yeah. I said, okay. <laughs> so uh, I, I couldn't believe it. And then, you know, they put... Uh, you know, uh, Hideo uh, Wagner, uh, another guy, because they wanted to make a tag. And um, so it was just so unexpected. And I got to tell you, um, you know, I really got to get in the ring with Blue Demon Jr. And it was unbelievable. And the craziest part, it never happened because of COVID, but uh, he actually challenges me at the end to a hair versus mask match, me and him. And he cuts the promo on there. And I told him I won't accept it unless there's money. And then he said, fine, come to Mexico and we'll do this match. And then that was before COVID. So it didn't happen. So somewhere down the line, I did accept the match. So I do want to have a hair versus mask match with uh, Ruby and Drew. Yes. So actually, you want to come to Mexico to be in the Lucha Libre industry, right? So, how? What is I think I will be there soon. About yes. that, yeah. So, yeah. what is your opinion about the the lucha libre in general? The level, how you see the level of the luchadors? Um, there are a big names right now on the industry in United States, in Japan, in Mexico too. So, how you saw that level? Well, this is what I would tell you. I think my preferred place overall right now is to be in the lucha scene because I feel like I can do everything that I need to do in the ring, but also that there's no one physically like me there. And I have a tremendous respect for the traditional Lucha Libre. And I, I love, you know, I, I love, you know, I love wrestling in Puerto Rico. I love, I love all the, all the Latinos, all the Mexicans. Like to me, It's my preferred. They're the best fans in the world. I have the most fun. And uh, I've already been in there with guys like Blue Demon Jr. I've wrestled with guys like Mecha Wolf. You know, uh, I've been in there with, man, I, there's so many. I just like trying to run names in my head. There's Disney, uh, Master of Sagrada Jr., Kuma. And there's a lot of guys I've been there with. And You know, there's only I have a fit for it, and uh, I I predict I will be in Mexico very very soon, which is yeah. you know a debut I'm looking to make this year. Excellent. So I hope see you soon here in Mexico in whatever company. So I I hope you can come here. And actually, I want to talk about of Puerto Rico because you be on GCW Grand Silver Wrestling. And you will be again on Puerto Rico on February 25. You won back that title. So how do you feel to be again on Puerto Rico? What the people of there can expect of Brian Idol? So tell all the people what's going to happen on February 25 on GCW. I want to tell you that GCW was the first company to bring me to Puerto Rico. And because of them, I learned all about this island, but they were the first ones to bring me here. And they were the first, uh, there were some different people that got into control of the company and they took it in a bad direction. And I honestly didn't want to be a part of it. But the original management is back and the company is going back to the way it started. And That makes me so fired up to come and because this company, think about Ground Zero, 
is this was a company for the fans and by the fans. And I want that title back and I want to represent that company because the fans deserve it because I feel like the loyal fans had to suffer through some people that were not real champions and not even real wrestlers. And that's unfortunate, but that's how wrestling goes sometimes when people make uh, you know business decisions. But uh, I think the fans who have seen Ground Zero from the original know that it's a great company. And for the ones that are still around that maybe don't know if it's the best company, I'm telling you, February 25th, come watch me. Come watch everybody at Ground Zero because we're going to put on an unbelievable show and we're going to show you you know, what makes the difference here in Puerto Rico is Grand Zero Wrestling. Oh, so, thank you, Brian, for that word. Así que, gente de Puerto Rico, no se les olvide, 25 de febrero, Ground Zero Wrestling GCW, va a estar Brian Idol. Brian, thank you so much for your time and this interview. I appreciate so much. And something you want to say to all the fans around the world and the people of Lucha Libre Online? Absolutely. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to say thank you, and I want to thank everybody else that works at Lucha Libre. You guys are the number one uh, media for all Lucha Libre, unquestionably. And uh, I can't I can't say how grateful I've been for you guys always showing me love and having support, and it means the world to me. And my message to the fans around the world, this is my year this year, I'm telling you. Big things in store for me this year. And when there's big things in store for me, that means there's big things in store for the fans. I'm always going to give you 110% when I'm in that ring. And I want you to know that my heart's with all of you. We love this thing called Pro Wrestling Lucha Libre. We all live and die by it. And that's what I want to do. I want to uphold that tradition. I want to uphold that honor. And I thank all you fans for being there and supporting me. And please continue to support Lucha Libre. And Continue to support Lucha Libre as a whole. And, uh, you know, get to some shows. Come see it live. Come say hello. Thank you. Thanks to you, Brian. Thank you so much for your time again. And people of Lucha Libre Online, thank you so much for solve this interview. Gente, muchísimas gracias por haber visto esta entrevista. Yo soy Jorge Cervera. No se les olvide, 25 de febrero, Round Silver Wrestling, Brian Idol en Puerto Rico. Una vez más, quiero su título de vuelta. Yo soy Jorge Cervera y les mando un saludo. Y sigan viendo Lucha Libre Online.